How Journal Writing Has Helped Me in My 20s Part 2 In the last episode, I shared how journal writing has helped me in my 20s, especially when dealing with negative emotions. If you haven't heard of it, make sure to listen to it. If you have listened to that episode, the benefits of journal writing are more than that. It's not just that actually, because journal writing has helped me discover what joy means to me. Because I found myself writing everything that comes to my mind, what I feel. So upon reading my journal, what really stood out are the best moments of my life. To be honest, yes. The reason why when I did the SBTS Digital Journal, I included a happy thoughts section it's because that is how i found joy in my life when i say journaling other than writing part of my process is to read them once in a while and because i'm reading them once in a while that's when i realize that If I only put negative thoughts in my journal, I feel like ayoko siyang basahin. Yes, negative thoughts are good kasi you will also see na ay nalampasan ko yun, ay nakayanan ko yun. But if you are writing things that you hate about the person, yung ganun, parang hindi siya maganda actually. Hindi ko siya binabasa. So, doon ako nag-start na mag-stop doon sa mga negative na yon Yung hindi lahat gusto kong isulat. Parang ganon. Doon ko rin naisip na I should write more good memories, good thoughts, because I want to read them. Sumasaya kasi ako pag binabasa ko sila. That's the effect. And gusto kong sumaya. Kaya... I make it a habit to write good things, good memories, good thoughts. And dahil doon, doon ko na-discover yung mga taong mahal ko kasi lagi silang journal entry, <laughs> yung mga taong nagpapasaya sa akin, yung mga words na naging inspiration ko, Doon ko nga din nalaman na love language ko pala yung affirmation at saka quality time. If you could just see my journal, there are so many pambobol na written there. Kahit yung mga notes na binigay sa akin, nakadikit yun kahit yung mga letters tuwing birthday ko, nandun yun. And up until now, it works kasi when I need... a dose of pambobola tapos mababasa ko yung mga nasulat ko before it still makes me smile and I think that's the best way for me to save memories they say that some of the best moments in our lives are the ones we forget to capture in a picture and as for me this is true Because the or the happiest moments of my life are the ones that I forgot to take a picture of. I am just really thankful to my journal that it served as a way for me to still preserve those memories. I found that true, ha, na kahit pala gano na katagal ang lumipas, but if you have written about the moment as genuine, as possible, when you read it, the feeling is still there. Fact about me, one of my favorite films is Beauty and the Beast. Pinanood ko to sa sinehan and it felt so magical. 
Ito din yung isa sa mga naging report ko noon when I was still studying because everything that I learned from Beauty and the Beast, I felt like yun yung mga pinaniniwalaan ko. Ganon. And there's a song there, How Does a Moment Last Forever? Feel ko, through journal writing, or journal writing is my way of making a moment last forever. Kung hindi man forever, at least a lifetime. Diba? At least nagtagal. There was one time in my 20s that I felt super happy in the most unexpected way. Totoo pala yung at some point in your life, you will experience what you've been dreaming of. And this is when I realized na dahil akala mo hindi siya totoo, parang hindi ka makapaniwala, ang hirap i-process. This is when I realized na if mahirap i-process yung negative emotions, mahirap din palang i-process yung positive emotions. I mean, yung sobrang saya na hindi ka makapaniwala. Yung parang, totoo ba to? Is this, is this even happening? Deserve ko ba to? Yun yung tanong. Alam mo yung tears of joy, sobrang overwhelmed, yung para ka talagang nasa cloud nine. I have never experienced that feeling before. Kaya nung naramdaman ko siya, a part of you or a part of me, ayoko siyang matapos. Pero a part of me, gusto ko na lang ding bumalik sa normal kasi parang sa sobrang saya ko, hindi ako makapag-function. <laughs> you know what? I'm used to be binibining pat lang. Yun yung um, parang naging name ko when I was still a DJ. Kasi I want everything na sakto lang. Parang ganda ko, ganun. Even yung saya ko, gusto ko sakto lang sana. Ganon. Gusto ko um, kalma lang. Ganon. Chill lang. Wow. So that time, kasi sobrang saya ko, I don't know what to do. And one thing that has helped me in dealing with that emotion is my journal. So sinulat ko yon kung ano yung nararamdaman ko, kung ano yung nasa isip ko. Lahat. So, when I look back and check that story on my journal, I felt like it's so beautiful. And now I realize that even after seven years, that was the happiest day of my life ever. And I also thought of the idea na nothing beats a sincere heart. I just realized then na uh, nothing can be sweeter than a sincere heart. Kasi wala namang style yung sinulat ko. I mean, it's just how I share stories with you also. Pero dahil totoo siya, it is, it is beautiful. So beautiful. But this is just one of the memories that I wrote in my journal. Other than this one, there are lots of happy thoughts and good memories. So, no wonder I realized na, or I realized what makes me happy, who makes me happy. And the collection of these happy thoughts, happy memories, gave me a grateful heart. And because I do it every day, it has changed my life. It has changed my life in many ways. Feeling ko. <laughs> but... It's not an easy process and hindi ko siya na-realize actually agad-agad. It's been seven years of journal writing. Not until now I did podcast, hindi ko marirealize na ang laking tulong niya sa akin sa buhay ko in everything. Marami akong um, oras na ginugol sa pagsusulat doon. 
maraming ballpen and everything, pero it's all worth it. Another feeling that I want to share with you, while I'm reading my journals, I am convinced na it's a life that I am proud of. It's a life that is well-lived. And it's a life na kahit mag-goodbye ako sa earth any moment, parang I'm okay. Parang lahat ng nararanasan ko ngayon, lahat to, bonus na lang sa akin. Yun yung nararamdaman ko. I don't know if it's right or wrong, pero that's how I feel. Kasi I felt really happy and naramdaman ko yung appreciation sa akin ng mga tao na kahit hindi ko kaano-ano, naramdaman ko yung pagmamahal nila. And more than that, I felt like kahit ako, nagmahal ako. And this leads me to the quote na narinig ko before, na parang happiness in life is to love and be loved. There was one time, I was asked, how did I realize the things that I want to do in my life? Kasi I've met people na at their age, kahit successful na sila, they are still questioning themselves kung ano yung gusto nilang gawin, yung bakit pakiramdam nila hindi sila fulfilled. So they were asking me kung bakit ko nagagawa yung mga gusto kong gawin or paano ko naisip yung mga ginagawa ko. So, I said, it's not just me listening to my thoughts, but it's because of the people around me. They help me find my what's next in life. These are great people. Ito yung mga tao na generous in sharing their wisdom with someone like me. Kapag nakakausap ko sila, pakiramdam ko ang sarap mangarap. And I, I'm always praying na, Lord, sana bigyan niyo pa po sila ng mahabang buhay. Mga ganun. Kasi, the world needs a lot of them. Yung mga tao na i-inspire ka na gawin yung gusto mo, yung makikita yung kaya mong gawin, at sasabihin nila sa yun, bibigyan ka nila ng mga advice for you. Kaya, I cannot mention them all, but I know I've been expressing a lot of gratitude to these people. Kaya, kung nakikinig man po kayo sa inyong lahat, maraming 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 salamat. You're the reason kung bakit ko ginagawa ito. And you're the reason why I'm happy. Oh my gosh, nakakaiyak na wa. <laughs> Lalong-lalo na dun sa tao na unang nagsabi sa akin na number one fan ko siya. Those are just five words, but those five words are so powerful na they help me to go on. And they are still helping me up to this point na hindi rin ako sigurado sa <laughs> kapupuntahan na mga ginagawa ko. Kaya, thank you so much. Uh, so, speaking of what's next, I am launching my first ever ebook. Kasi wala pa tayong budget pang print, pero Lord, baka naman, <laughs> nag-request wala. But just to share with you, because you are my constant listeners, the ebook is Finding Good Every Day. These are some of the first stories that I had in my journal. The stories that made me accept what I call my weakness before. Inside this ebook are some of the moments that are ordinary but I found really meaningful na I forgot to take a picture of. I wanted to share this with all of you because this is how I found joy in my life. 
Someone told me before that making this person smile is the best gift that I can give to this person. I don't know how I do that actually, but when I read it, I realized I love to make other people smile, especially the ones I love. When I feel this one, parang ang sarap mabuhay. And because it's Love Month, as my way of sharing joy with all of you, my SBTS listeners, I have created this ebook with love. And I hope you can get a copy of it. Honestly, this is my gift to the people who have made me happy because I want to make these moments with them last forever. I want them to be the subject of my writings kasi ganun sila kahalaga sa akin. I also pray that these stories can inspire other people too, especially those who are in their 20s. So if you want to get a copy, just go to sarasbedtimestories.com slash ebook and then you just have to fill out the form there and you can get a copy of it. Also, we will put the link in the description for you to purchase my first ever ebook. Again, thank you so much to all of you. And just a final thought, I saw a line from a friend in my journal. Sabi niya, your stories inspire them. This was, yeah, seven years ago, but it still gives me that extra push for me to continue what I've been doing. So, more stories, more inspirations, I promise. This is Sarah's Bedtime Stories. Good night! Mwah! For more stories and more inspirations, get a copy of Kiddos Finding Good Every Day. Just visit sarasbedtimestories.com slash ebook and fill out the form. Thank you so much!